you hear about so many different, even like CEOs of totally different companies, but then you look at their credentials and they're like, they've done either mechanical engineering or electrical engineering, mm. like so many, um, like tech guys, like guys yeah. that have created like a software company. When you look into it, they've done say, uh, um, electrical engineering and then computer science and computer yeah, exactly. engineering. I think Elon Musk did. Yeah, he's like software engineering or something. He's incredible. Hey, yeah, he's pretty nuts. He's like seems like one of the only guys. I'm sure there's others out there, but he's the CEO and the face of the company, mm. but is also like hands on solving yeah. the issues and working out the maths, which I didn't realize until maybe a year ago or something when he was on the. Do you have you heard of the Joe Rogan yeah, podcast? Yeah. He was on that podcast. He's on it a few times, hasn't he? I think so. Oh, I think he was just on the one. His memory got in all that. Well, there was like, weed or something? yeah, he smoked yeah. weed on it, and they're like, "Oh no!" Like the, the stock prices. Apparently, the stock price like went down, but then just came back up the next mm. day or something. But um, yeah, he, I watched another interview of him actually at Tesla, and mm. he's like talking as if he's the CEO, but then all of a sudden he starts like opening up the door of the Tesla, and he's like, "Oh, see, like this, I designed to this." I designed this, mm. like I did all this. And you're like, wow. But then he's not only doing Tesla, he's doing SpaceX as well. Yeah. Is it SpaceX? Yeah. The rockets. And then he's got, have you heard of like his tunnel company called the Boring Company? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boring Co. Or made something. like flamethrowers or something. Yeah, he made like a flamethrower. I didn't realize it was a tunneling company. Yeah, so that's why it's called the Boring. That makes sense. Because they yeah. bore holes. Different but there, I think his vision behind that is... Um, they're creating these like high speed tunnels under like LA and stuff because mm. LA traffic's just rooted. Like I mean, I've stuffed. been to Sydney and that's terrible. Yeah. Well, think of um, from what I hear, I've never been there, but think of that times about thirty or fifty. You oh. know? I don't know why I chose thirty as the first one. Seems odd, but um, oh, well. yeah, he's got like these cool. I saw they've got like a prototype where you you put a Tesla onto it mm. and then it just like shoots the Tesla like through the tunnel kind of thing. Like it's yeah. on like a like on a rail sort of thing. Oh. Yeah. So there's this kind of high speed travel from place to place. It's like a conveyor belt, but or a travelator. Sort travel. of, yeah. Like a yeah. And then I think he was also doing the hyperloop. Have you heard of that? It's a train, isn't it? Similar, yeah. So mm. it's like a vacuum tube, but and and then they have like a like a carriage inside of it, but because it's in a vacuum, there's no like um, resistance. Yeah, right. So it can go like stupidly fast. I don't know who's going to put their hand up to be like the first to yeah. person to try it Test out. It. Seems yeah. pretty. Uh, but they've got like all the infrastructure yeah, tested in some desert because their whole idea is like if we can set that up, then it just alleviates all those traffic problems. Mm. So, and then you, you can put that into like a subway station. Yeah, exactly. Because it, they're like, well, the, you can't build up anymore. Like, there's only so many like ramps and stuff you can put up. Yeah, you might as well start yeah. going down. But I think as well in LA they have so many earthquakes, or mm. they have they have a lot of like it's like an earthquake prone area. But he's figured out some way to dig all the tunnels that they're, they're not affected by earthquakes. So, I don't know. He was he using all these right. like. Like twelve syllable words, I had no like. It's just <laughs> I was like, okay, I understand some of this. So while I'm listening, I'm just like googling or Wikipedia and Wikipedia again. Yeah, some of like that, and you just go down this like rabbit hole. I'm mm. like, yeah, this guy is intelligent. He is pretty smart. Yeah, he's a bit, he talks like a robot. He's he's got some questionable business practices. I think like there's a, a lot of people aren't very happy with him around the whole Tesla thing. I think a lot of people aren't happy with SpaceX too. Like, did you hear about that interview? I was like Neil Armstrong or something. Those guys who are like throwing shade on him for trying to get to space and make it commercial. Mm. Have you heard about that? I've heard like, I've heard that there were people that were upset with it. Yeah, like. Why are they upset though? I don't know. Because I I think they're saying like it's too dangerous to go into space and why would you make it a commercial thing? People are just going to die. And like these were um, Elon Musk's like heroes, like he, they were his inspiration yeah, to that, do it. Oh, I've and heard they, him talk about. He was devastated. Yeah, he was he was cut really yeah. deep. Yeah, I don't know. Like that's just that would sucked. <laughs> it's um that kind of talking or thinking really th- feeds into the whole conspiracy of um like this conspiracy theory of like we didn't, didn't go, go to, to space. The, yeah, I remember seeing that because people were like, "What if if we did go to space?" 
Mm. Why are they so upset about us going there again? Like, Good point. you know, like mm. not that I'm a conspiracy theorist, but I I find it interesting, kind of entertaining yeah. some of those ideas. And they're like, surely Neil Armstrong, if it's like one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind, or whatever, would mm. be like, this is the next. This is the next step, you know. Like, that's a uh, good point. Yeah, it's interesting. Like, uh, I was, yeah, I was watching some conspiracy theorist guy. And he's like, "This is proof." And we did. <laughs> and I'm like, "Oh, I don't know if it's proof, mm. but it's uh, we've caught Bigfoot." Yeah, Here's the proof. Yeah, exactly. But it doesn't. <laughs> it kind of like it does feed into that kind of yeah, thinking. Like, I get it. I get it. I get yeah. if you are yeah if you are very anti. We didn't go to space, which a lot of people are. And I don't know where we, I stand on that, to be yeah. honest. Um, I want to believe that we did because, like, God created this amazing universe. Why aren't we exploring it? Yeah, exactly. I'm all for it. Mm. I don't know about living on Mars, but yeah, if people not. want to live on Mars, like, eventually we've got to do something, I guess. Like, yeah. if the world, there's only so much this world can take, I guess. And Elon's like, where, what's the next best place? Mm. Mars. Yeah, it sucks at the moment. Yeah. There's, no, there's not <laughs> there's much there. there. It's a bit of a desert, but I've seen like, um, I don't think it was related to SpaceX, but it was like another company. They were like trying to work out how they could grow crops on oh, yeah. on Mars. So they like, I think it was actually one of those kind of like science competitions where they go, this is the problem. Mm. If you solve it, we'll give you a million dollars or whatever like that. And so they replicated the soil conditions and the environmental conditions of Mars and they had to try and figure out how to grow stuff and I think they like managed to grow some things. So oh, okay. It's pretty cool. I remember hearing that they they'd have to like set off nuclear bombs in the atmosphere to create an ozone. Really? Yeah, like because there's no atmosphere. Yeah. And, like they'd have to set off nukes that'll just like disperse all this carbon Be- dioxide. Yeah, yeah, okay. Because because at the moment the sun just hits her straight away. Yeah, it just yeah, cooks it's everything. Too hot. Yeah, wow. Well, I think like the way I think about it, I don't imagine if if we eventually move to Mars, well, if some people move to Mars, mm. like it's not going to be like we're just going to have green grass everywhere. And, yeah, no. And, uh, <laughs> I, if it's I, that, that's going to be yeah, a couple of centuries. Later. I always picture it as in like this futuristic view of like, have you seen Total Recall? Or no, something? I haven't. It's like an older, I think it had Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's pretty old now. Mm. Like it's a pretty cool movie, but. I reckon if I watched it again, I'd be like, "Oh, this this is awful." <laughs> but um, they're like inside this big like dome vacuum thing. Mm. I only remember that because at the end, the uh, I'm just about to ruin the movie, but I it's think fine. it's like twenty over twenty years of that, so who yeah. cares? Um, if you haven't watched the they like your fault. the bad guy. They like, I think they like Arnold Schwarzenegger in one of his punchlines, like puts him outside the dome. And his eyes like get sucked out of his head because of the atmosphere. Mm. I remember as a little kid, like freaking out, like this is awful. <laughs> and then I watched a YouTube clip of it not that long ago. I was like, "How was I scared of this? <laughs> the CGI is horrendous. <laughs> Just like pixels." <laughs> yeah, but you know, it is interesting. It is. I'm. I always think this is the way my brain works. I don't know if your brain thinks this as well. Mm. I'll often think. I wonder what it's going to be like in like 200 years. Mm. And I try and picture that and then I get a bit sad because I'm like, oh, I won't, I won't be, there. I won't be yeah. around <laughs> unless something changes. Mm. But, um, yeah, all that stuff's nuts. Yeah. Well, no, it's a pretty crazy time to uh, be alive like with technology and mm. everything. Hey? And like technology grows at a lo- like an exponential rate. Yeah. Like I remember seeing like a study on it and like technology – you think back to 100 years ago and technology was at the, like increasing exponentially then too. Yeah, yeah. But then like because you zoom into what we're doing now, graph shrinks down, it's like nothing. Yeah. It? 